ini Academically, she's very good. I think Anima was a writer of allied arts where she came first, quite a number of hours. And uh, in the world, but also about you can't just sit. We want to support her. And uh, my mission is that she's very clear. She wants to be a medical doctor. But I'm not very sure now with this uh, invention. We don't know because I'm seeing and black. But it's all science. So, we can't bat it out to uh, achieve an objective science. Yeah, a memory all around. I talk of mathematics, Rona, Bible, Sagamun, I don't worry, I think it's a natural talent. She's also, she's not only scientific, she's also good at poetry, uh, also good at commercials, so she's a very well rounded child. And she's a gifted child, granted. I'm actually happy to have a sister who is very, very gifted and uh, she's also an inspiration to, to me personally because like when I do my work I also look up to her even though she's younger than me but due to her achievements she also drives me to, to keep on achieving greater and greater and greater success each and every day. To me, memory was very inspirational and she taught me a lot of things when we were um, researching on her project. We do have time to socialize on weekends, we sometimes go out, have fun, watch movies, and some, most of the time it's just the two of us, sometimes we have other friends as well. And yeah, we actually have a lot of fun, we get time to socialize, it's not always books, books, movies. Three words to describe memory. Crazy, beautiful, and intelligent. My name is Memory Bungo, and I'm going to be telling you about my project, which is a machine that cleans used now we use disposable diapers are thrown away as a method of disposing them, but they contain plastic which is not biodegradable. So when we throw them away, they take over 500 years to completely dis de dis decompose and it takes a long time for them to completely degrade. Now children are found playing around the dump sites which are mostly composed of the used disposable diapers. Stray dogs tear the diapers apart and carry them to people's homes, which not only spreads litter, but spreads diseases as well. So I made a machine which will reduce the environmental impact of disposable diapers and allows us to reuse the disposable diaper more than once. So I'm going to demonstrate um, how the machine works and the different segments and the different parts of the machine. Over here, the machine is powered by a fan motor, which I also found, which is also reused, which I also found lying in a dark side. The fan motor has a rod attached to it and this plastic bottle here with louvers on it so that um, the, the machine does not absorb water while it's rotating inside this bucket. Inside the bucket, will be scrubs and detergents. You turn the machine on and it starts rotating inside water with the diaper wrapped inside out around this part of the machine. As it rotates for roughly 15 minutes, the diaper will be cleaned using the frictional forces of the, mach of the machine rotating and the diaper rubbing against the scrubs. After the cleaning process, the diaper absorbs a lot of water, which renders it from being reusable. So 
So I designed a dryer which uses convection currents to dry the diaper after the cleaning process. At the bottom and at the top of the dryer are holes I made. The holes at the top bring in cold air, which, which uh, carries the moisture inside the diaper out through the bottom holes. The bottom holes also bring in the warm air, which also dries up the moisture inside the diaper. The dryer is painted black inside to absorb heat from the sun and is placed outside in the sun for roughly four hours and after four hours of the intense heat and the convection currents drying the diaper, the diaper is clean and ready to be used. And I'm aging uh, our government invest a lot in education because even educated leaders so you know, I believe it's a basic right for a Zimbabwean kid that when uh, educational facilities are modern so that I know when I come to when I come here I first study different subjects I've gone through the whole day just to refresh so that I don't forget uh, the things that I've learned throughout the day. After refreshing and going over the things I've uh, learned and gotten throughout the day, then I start with my homework and I complete my homework and then I start helping my mom with the chores. And then after the chores, I go back, I either read a novel or sometimes I write poetry and then go to sleep. On weekends, it, if there's an event at church, I sometimes attend uh, youth ev events at church and if I have a friend with a birthday or who's just invited me over, sometimes I go and, uh, and uh, socialize with my friends and sometimes I visit my uh, my sister who stays in Melbourne, I visit her uh, quite frequently. I'd say my dad is very encouraging. He's, he's um, a very strong person. He always encourages me to do my best. He always has the best words for, that push me to do my best. And my mom is also very encouraging and very comforting. So whenever I have a problem, I always go to her and and I just talk to her and she always has the best words just to comfort and soothe your pain. They have sponsored me most of my journey. They have, I think that's where some of the troubles come in when you're trying to find money for sponsorship. So I really want to thank them for putting their foot forward and not giving up on me and they continued to sponsor me throughout this journey until until um, I, I've come to this level. They've continued to sponsor me and they've gone out of their way to try and find sponsorship for me. So I really want to thank them for that. Sometimes you're not born, born uh, great, but your hard work makes you great. Your work, your enthusiasm, your focus, and what's inside you makes you great. Uh, the encouragement around you, the people around you, they also make you great. So it's not all, usually, it's not all the time that um, somebody who's great was born great. You make yourself great. It's, it's a process. I like to call it a process. So you work towards being great. You don't always have to be born great in order to be great. So I think the people around you also influence um, uh, you being great and, and your work too.